In this video, I will show you how to use a TI-36X Pro calculator to find the average and standard deviation of a set of data. I'm just using this example density data from experiment 1A, and here is my calculator. So we are going to be um, finding the average of these densities. Um, it's already been calculated here, but I'm going to show you how it works on the calculator. So of course we turn the calculator on and then we press the data button. This gives us like a miniature spreadsheet. If there are values in here, you want to delete them all before you enter your data. Now I'm just gonna type in the numbers as they appear here. So 0.832153, um, it's showing what I'm typing down here. When I press enter, it looks like that number has been rounded. It's not going to show all the digits, but if I go up and highlight that, I can see that all the numbers are still there. So this will be value number two. Enter value three. Enter and value four. Enter. If I've made a mistake, I can scroll up and edit anything that I need to edit. Now I want this stat reg button, so I'm going to press second, and that data button that says stat reg above it. I want one variable statistics, so I press the number two, and press enter twice, three times, um, and here are my results. So this first line, n equals four, tells me how many data points I had entered. Um, the second line, x bar, is the average, 0.83078675. And you see that over here, that has been um, rounded a little bit, but it's the same number. And then s of x is the standard deviation that we want. And there it is matching up here. Now, a common question is, how do I round the average and round the standard deviation? We're going to round the average based on the standard deviation. So here our standard deviation. Um, we're going to look for the first non-zero digit. Um, and we're going to round this standard deviation to one significant figure. So that would be 0 0.001. That means that there's variation in this third decimal place. So in our average, the third decimal place has some variation in it. That makes it the uncertain digit. We don't want to keep more than one uncertain digit. So because my rounded standard deviation has three decimal places, then I'm going to round my average also to three decimal places. And because the next digit is a seven, I'm going to round that zero up to a one and report my answer as 0.831 plus or minus 0.001 grams per milliliter. 